Here is the no-nonsense tutorial for how to install any distro of Linux. For this example, we're going to be using a Linux Mint ISO, which I prepared this USB using Ventoy, which is just an open source tool that is used to create bootable USB drives. So we have this old ThinkPad here. You can see Windows 7 i5. All we're going to do here is we're going to plug in my USB drive. Now, this shortcut is not going to be the same on all computers. For this one, it is F12. Depending on your computer, you're going to have to search up what the shortcut is to not allow the regular startup, because if I just allow the regular startup, it'll boot into the Arch Linux that I have here. So as my computer's turning on, as you guys can see, for me, I have to click the F12 key. Just gonna start clicking it, turning it on. See, it said that the Think Vantage started. That's initializing the boot agent. We're gonna go down. For me, this is what my USB drive is called. Um, normally, whatever says USB HDD should work just fine for you. And click here. Don't mind the message. Okay, I have obviously more than one ISO on here because it's Ventoy. I use this for multiple, but we're gonna go with Linux Mint. Just click enter. We're gonna boot into normal mode. Now it'll just take a quick second. I'll cut back to when this is fully booted. Oh, never mind, no need. We're just gonna start Linux Mint. I installed the XFCE version, which is just the most lightweight version. There's different ones you can use, like Cinnamon. This just all comes down to personal choice. Once we're booting in, just give it a minute. All right, guys, we are now finally loaded into Linux Mint. Now, as you guys can see, this looks like a pretty standard operating system, similar to Windows, kind of. And now just to install it, we're gonna come up here to the top left. It's the only thing, it's like a disk. I'm gonna double click on this to start installing Linux Mint on your computer. Okay, it's going to ask me here what language, obviously, if you guys are watching this in the native language, I'm speaking English, so we're gonna go with the English language. I'm gonna go English, selected, continue. English, US, continue. Oh, I'm gonna blur all this out. Don't wanna connect to Wi-Fi right now. Install multimedia codec, so I'm just gonna leave this on. I'm gonna turn it on actually, that's what I meant to say. Continue. These are all steps just for the normal user. You know, obviously a more advanced Linux user can decide whether they want multimedia codecs or not. I'm just gonna erase my disk. I'm gonna erase Arch Linux and install Linux Mint. Continue. The entire disk will be used. I have a 500 gigabyte hard drive, so it's just letting me know. Three partitions will get deleted. I had to create partitions when creating and installing, setting up Arch Linux. So this might not look exactly the same for you. It might be a different number. If your hard drive is clean, you don't have anything. Probably will not say about anything about partitions. But we're just gonna click install now. I don't have anything on this laptop of importance. I'm gonna continue. It's gonna ask me where I am. I am on the East Coast, as many of you guys know from my Fortnite videos. After entering my computer username and whatnot and setting my password, now it takes me to the screen where I do not have to touch anything else. I just wait here till this progress bar is done. Just like have you, if you've ever installed Windows, you know, it's pretty similar. It's just gonna take a little bit and I'll be back when it's done. All right guys, after a little bit, this is the message that pops up once your installation is finished, that I can continue testing Linux in this live environment, so off the USB, or I could just restart. I'm gonna click restart and reboot. I've used Linux Mint, so there's no need for me to test it in this live environment. For some of you guys that aren't too familiar, I would suggest testing in the live environment before installing to make sure you like the distro. Now it's just rebooting my computer and I can remove the USB. Oh, this is kind of hard with one hand. Give me a second. Okay, 
remove the USB, see it's not in there. Throw it over to the side, press enter. All right guys, we have now finished rebooting and we removed our USB drive. As you can see, it's not in our laptop anymore. Welcome to Linux Mint, this is your new operating system. And then now basically guys, we're done. I mean, we just click, let's go. And then it's just different things for, you know, your driver manager, multimedia, update manager, just different things. You guys can play around and customize your computer in this window, but right now I'm not gonna do any of that. But thank you guys so much for watching this portion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like.